filter came in. He's moving tanks. Here's the process. The filter I ordered was a Sun Sun HW302, I think. It's the one that does not have the um, UV lamp thing. Uh, I have everything I need in it. It came with these hoses. They're about six feet long. They're pretty high quality. Uh, I'll show you what's in the filter. Sorry that the camera is kind of shaking. I'm just holding it with my other hand. Okay, so here's the cover. In the top tray, I have my chemical filtration, which is just a bag of activated carbon. In the second tray, I have bio balls and then um, ceramic rings on top of that for my biological filtration. In the bottom tray, I have three filter floss pad type things for my mechanical filtration. And um, if you don't really know how a canister filter works, um, the water comes in through there, I think. It goes down a tube and to there, and then it comes up through the bottom. So it's gonna hit the mechanical filtration, then the biological, then the chemical, then it's gonna go back into the tank. So I'm deciding not to put gravel in this tank. It, just look at it. it, it's all nasty. And, so much crap builds up in it, and there's so much algae on it. I think he enjoys it. Where'd he go? There he is. But, um, it's kind of a hassle for me. So, I'm gonna fill it up with a bunch of those big rocks. So he'll have stuff to climb on. I'll just around the bottom with them I've got to move this tank but I don't know this might take me till tomorrow to complete because it's like late afternoon and I don't know if I'm gonna finish this tonight because I've got to go to work in a little bit so I'm not sure okay I'm back from work I did not get much done um, it's about 9 o'clock. I washed all of these rocks, and I threw them in the tank, and I think it's going to be cool. I think it's going to be really cool, actually. Um, washing rocks is not very fun. It takes a little bit. Got to make sure you get all the dirt off of them and stuff. But I'm not really sure what all else I'm going to do tonight, considering he's his lights are off, and I like to think he's asleep. And that his lights go off at like 8 or something. That They come on at 8 in the morning and go off at 8 at night. 12 hour cycle. I might work on my filter a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. So I went ahead and put plastic plants in the tank. I think they look pretty nice. Um, I've positioned my canister filter where I want it to be. I know they recommend to put it directly underneath. But I don't have a stand for this tank. I just have a cabinet. With a bunch of junk on it. And there's nowhere, if I put it there, there's nowhere for the um, hoses to go out of. So I'm putting it right there. And this is not going to hang over. Um, <laughs> I am going to take the turtle and put him in his kiddie pool pond. That's in my backyard. You should go check out that video. I made a video on it like two days ago, I think. And, um... His tank's kind of bare right now, but it's okay because this is his last night sleeping in it. And, um, so I've got to move this tank so I can scoop this one over. And, um, you can probably already tell that the tubing is way too long for where I'm putting the input and output. So the 
took me like six foot of thirties. I thought I, I think I've already said that, and um, so I'm gonna cut that. And okay, so I've trimmed my hoses a good bit, and I added a um, little rag there, so if it ever did leak, it'd be like a first defense. So I'd hopefully I'd notice it before it got any worse. I think this is all I'm gonna do tonight. So, okay, it's a new day. Turtle is outside in his kiddie pool pond. And I'm taking down this tank. It's gonna just take everything out of it, drain the water, everything. Then I'll come back to this one. Time lapse thing didn't work, so now I'm gonna clean my basking dock filter and heater. <sighs> I dropped my glass heater and broke it. Don't be like me and be stupid. Be careful when carrying a glass heater. It's summertime. I hope the tank doesn't get too cold. I mean, I think it'll be plenty warm for him. I'm still going to have my thermometer. If it gets too cold, I'll just buy another heater. But for now, I won't, I'll go heaterless. Now I'm going to move this tank. These aquariums are heavier than they look. Now I'm going to start filling up the tank. It's basically a long process of me filling up this bucket a bunch of times and dumping it in here. And it's kind of boring, so I'm not going to record it. So I filled the tank up about how much I want it to be filled up. It's about two-thirds filled of a 29-gallon tank. The basin got looked so much bigger in the other tank, but... um. And this thing's still not even huge, but it, it's a huge upgrade from what I had. I think the plants look great and the rocks look awesome. So now I'm going to fill the filter up because you have to fill it up, I think, the primer. I, I don't even really know how this works, so I'm going to have to do some research since the instructions are, like, crappy uh, translated from Chinese to English or something like that. And I can barely understand what it says. So I'm going to do some research and learn how to get this working. Currently trying to prime this thing. Never done this before. Not really sure if I'm doing it right or not. I filled it with water. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I'll come back and report my progress. I feel like I'm doing everything they're doing in all the videos I've watched. I've filled up this tube almost. This is the output. Input's almost filled up also, but it, it won't make a siphon. I read a review on Amazon of this that somebody like improvised and primed it a different way, which is what I'm about to try to do, but this, I don't know how well that's holding, so I'm going to, um, if air is getting out through that or something, so I think I'm going to electrical tape over right here. Okay, so it took, a, it took me an hour and a half to get this thing primed. My dad had to help me. Well, kind of helped me. Uh, we flooded the room. Um, I... I don't know how good the filter performs, but I would definitely suggest a self-priming canister filter. That was the, like, hardest thing I have done in a long time. It, 
You, you never know what to expect. Okay, the lights are on the tank. I have heat bulb directed directly on to the... I might have to get a um, more powerful heat, a powerful heat bulb than UVB going pretty much over the entire tank. And this is really loud. I can hear it from downstairs. So, whenever he gets, I don't know, whenever I get bored of this and I put on the turtle topper and the tank's filled up all the way, it'll be much, much quieter. But, um, filter's kind of quiet. You can hear it a little bit, but it's pretty quiet. So I'm going to go grab the turtle and throw him in here. You see your new home? You want to get in it? What do you think? You've got so much room now. <laughs> I don't think he realizes that he's in a new tank yet. He hasn't turned around. Man, that's loud. He's very hungry. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, having to reprime this thing when I do maintenance on it is going to be a whole nother story, and I'm kind of scared. But, um, I don't want to waste another hour and a half on it. Thanks for watching.